This is the extreme scene. There is a darkness inside of me. It wants to get out, wants to All walk right. around. It wants some walking around money. It wants to buy some shoes. It wants to walk up yeah. to people and say, hey, Gator, don't play no shit. You, you feel me? Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. Gator's yeah. just better be using Jimmy. With your host, Cyrus Sotsis. You want to have sex with a girl? Have sex with her. You want to leave the condom off? Go for it. Feels better that way. It does. And Omar Echeverry. I'm not some ass clown in the green room. I'm a surfer, dude. Yes. I just want to serve. Keep the stove day to day. On the Extreme Scene Radio Network. Yeah, this is the Extreme Scene. Also on the Sports Byline Radio Network and the American Forces Broadcast Network. Omar Echeverry. The Creeper himself, Dave Caesar, and myself, Cyrus Sots, is in studio for a great show today. Fellas, how you guys doing? Amazing. What's up, Cyrus? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Odog, I was listening to the show of last week, and everyone can listen to the show anytime they want. We have every segment of every show over the last almost like 10 years on our website, theextremescene.com. That's theextremescene.com. So if you listen to last week's show... You, look, you sounded so haggard and beat. Oh, dude, I was. Remember I had allergies? Yeah. I was pretty much dying during every interview. <laughs> you sounded like just hungover, uh, just torn, all of it. I don't think I was hungover. I don't think so either. I think it was just strictly allergies. But... Yeah, just torn. And Dave Caesar. I'm always hungover. <laughs> <laughs> we do. And uh, every segment of every show brought to you by San Francisco Surf Company, San Francisco's most eco-friendly show. Visit sfsurf.co to check them out. That's sfsurf.co. Great show today. This is all about the ladies, and of course, seeing as how we're, we're, at least I'm a misogynist for the most part, on the air, off the air, I'm totally equal rights, but on the air, go do the dishes. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, hey, great Caesar. streak. <laughs> Caesar, huge surprise, huh? Shocker. Cyrus, yeah, no look what? Great show, though. Bunch of girls. <laughs> huge show. I'm a misogynist. <laughs> on, on the show only. <laughs> on the show as soon only. As the show, it's just an act. On the show, though, Olympic gold medalist Hannah Teeter. She was also in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue last year. And then pro surfer Monica Byrne Wiki. That says like A grade. Could be could arguably the hottest snowboarder on the planet, hottest surfer on the planet. They're both on the show. That's what we got to bring into you. Easy uh, money. Yeah, so we're going to do that uh, in just a few moments. This is the Extreme Scene on the Sports Byline Radio Network and American Forces Broadcast Network. Hey, this is Kerry Hart. You're listening to the Extreme Scene, so pay attention, punk. Thank you, Kerry Hart. The Extreme Scene, name of the program, brought to you by San Francisco Surf Company. Visit sfsurf.co for more info, sfsurf.co. Omar Chaveri, Dave Caesar in studio with us, and myself, Cyrus Sotsas. Our first guest is one of the, as in the realm of action sports, as big as you get, Olympic gold medalist, then followed that up with an Olympic silver medalist, numerous X Games gold medals, numerous philanthropic activities. You name it, Hannah Teeter has done it. We've had her on the show like six years ago. It's been a long time. Hannah Teeter, welcome back to the program. How are you doing? Yay, I'm glad I'm back. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? Very good. And I don't know if you remember the last time you were on. This is I can't remember if it was like five or six years ago, but it was right around your 18th or 19th birthday. I think you were driving to Tahoe from somewhere. Um, <laughs> and you did this crazy like little scream, yow, on the show that for like the next five years we used that sound bite over and over again. It was awesome. But I, no way. I never knew that. <laughs> yeah. But what are you up to right now? Yeah. Where are you? I am back in Tahoe, and it's just covered in snow right now. It snowed like a foot last night. Crazy. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, I was going to go snowboarding this morning, but I just slept in and did yoga instead. Nice. 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 you going to hit the mountain later this weekend? Um, yeah, I'm going up to Mammoth tomorrow because we have a training camp up there with airbags and like they're going to rebuild the half pipe and jumps and stuff so it should be fun beautiful nice nice and let's talk about the yeah, season we're... one of the best seasons ever like wh- what's your take on it for this season yeah it was amazing wasn't it yeah it was ridiculous we got like 50 feet of snow in tahoe at my house it's crazy i heard, I heard tahoe it's got the most insane. snow yeah in like 25 years or something like that the fact that it's like almost yeah. june it's a like memorial day weekend and you're about to go snowboarding again it's pretty crazy yeah, I should send you a picture. It's just, it looks like full on winter again. Everything is covered in snow. Unbelievable. Wow. And we're joined it's by Hannah. Pretty. It's pretty <laughs> it is. And you're actually like, uh, Tahoe's like your home. I mean, you're from Vermont, but Tahoe's like your home base now, right? Yeah, this is where I base out of all winter just because it's so nice to come back in between contests and score powder every time. 
Beautiful. Yeah, life is good. Yeah. <laughs> life, is- life is pretty sweet over here. <laughs> I can imagine. And, uh, well, first off, let's talk about one of the things I admire about you is all your philanthropic activities. You, you've had the Hannah's Gold, the maple syrup going for years, and you donate almost, if not all, of the, the money you make from that to numerous charities, I believe mostly in Africa. Um, is that still going on, Hannah's Gold? Do you still uh, Are you still making the maple syrup? Yeah. That's still going on. It's doing really well. And uh, also, I mean, we do all profits from that. And then for the past four years, I've been donating all my contest money that I win to the charity as well just to add another level to the whole thing. Wow. That is another level. By that's that. Very yeah, cool and then the next level is the sweet cheeks. Mm. So you should tell us about those <laughs> sweet cheeks. Because <laughs> just, just, so just so you know, just so people know out there, and we're joined by Hannah Teeter here in the extreme scene, sweet cheeks is an underwear line started by you. And you yeah. and two of your cohorts also model for the line. So if you go to, I believe, sweetcheeks.com, is that the website? Yeah, sweetcheekspanties.com. Sweet. Yep. Thank it, you. And you got to love this. It's uh, panties with a, a purpose. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely every pair of underwear we sell, every pair that somebody buys feeds a child for a month through Children International. Wow. So that's wow. the whole concept behind it. Like, kind of a powerful concept to get it out there and i mean they're so cute and so comfy and really good for sports and you know it's all in one shebang it is and they're and not to mention hot i mean these are like sexy yeah, and they're hot. yeah dude like these are some sexy looking panties i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm not yeah, complaining we have more coming out we're gonna have some summer styles coming out right now just five on the line but we're definitely expanding as we grow and getting more athletes on board to promote and get it out there nice and so like the last time we had you on the show you just i mean you're you hadn't won the gold medal yet in turin but you were already like definitely had a name made for yourself in the snowboarding community but you weren't really doing the modeling thing and then the last like couple years you did like the sports illustrated issue you got the sweet cheeks line going and hannah you're pulling it off and then some bravo I want to give you a golf clap real quick, but how did like how did you how did, oh. how did you do the how did you get into like the the modeling aspect was it you wanting to get into it, or did, like, a lot of different, I guess, like, agents and photographers, were they the ones trying to, like, get you into doing the modeling thing? Mm, well, the first thing I did, uh, this is, like, the first only modeling thing I did was Sports Illustrated asked me to do the swimsuit shoot. Mm. And I was, like, all about it, thinking we were going to go to the beach and be in tropical water. Yeah. And then I ended up in the snow on a glacier. It was, like, 35 degrees. And I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> 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 modeling was supposed to be easy. <laughs> but... So- yeah, so I don't. It's, just, it's on and off, you know. I don't really do it that much, but I'd like to just because it's fun. I think we'd all like you to. I have, yeah. no, I have no complaints. <laughs> well, with support and lots of support. Get oh, out there. Oh heck yeah! And I think what I admire more than anything is your confidence. I mean, you're just like confidence is sexy. You know, we have this like we we have this kind of pervy like little uh, scale we call the Tahoe Ten scale. Where like if someone's a ten in Tahoe, they're like a six in San Francisco and like a you know two in L.A. Oh yeah. And so totally. you're you're like the Tahoe twenty. So oh. keep it going, please. Bravo! Like you're Thanks. just. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. I, I will try. I'll try. As long 20. as we get sweet cheeks out there, that's that's the main goal right now. So if the modeling helps with that, then all about it. Exactly. Help. And you, you gotta love this pair too. It says uh, "Make love, not war." Yes. That's a great. Yeah, pair that was of the panties. first one. That was the first line, right, for your Sweet Cheeks? That was the first Sweet Cheeks creation. That was the start of it. Now we have more mellow concepts because that was a little bold for people. <laughs> bold how? Like what? Like bold because of the style or because of the, the message? No, just because of the concept. Dude, you know, the, well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. It's way better than juicy. <laughs> I know, yeah, you know, right? I mean, Wait, at least it, it has a statement. I mean, like, you know, walking down the street and just seeing juicy on some girl's booty is, I, I, I don't understand it. <laughs> I'd rather yeah. see make love, not war. You exactly. Know? No, I'm with you. Yeah. I think, I think that's the general consensus. That's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're joined by Hannah Teeter, <laughs> Olympic gold medalist here in the extreme scene. You know, you've if, if, if somebody decides to Google you and, and look you up in terms of your Wikipedia or just your bio, just looking at the accomplishments you've done over the years, is there anything left? Like, are you motivated to continue to compete, or are you kind of ready to go to the next step, which is either backcountry or modeling or philanthropy. I mean, what's like next for Hannah Teeter? Because you've done so much already, and you're only 24. I am gearing up for Russia. The what? 2000, uh, Russia, where the next Olympics. The Olympics, is. right? That's right. Yeah, so I definitely want to do that one, and I think that'll that might cap off like the whole Olympic thing for me, and then I could 
move into that country and try to get into more aspects of snowboarding. And then, I, you know, I'm all into fashion and designing clothes and stuff. So, okay, for maybe ever- something like that afterwards. For, for nice. everyone out there, how is Russia for snowboarding? I mean, I don't think many Americans really know much about the mountains in Russia. We don't, actually, because none of us really have been there. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out, because we all look at each other like, I don't know how it's going to be, because nobody's really been over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Well, that the is... way everybody else yeah. thinks about it, Americans don't know very much about anything. That's true. That is true. Oh, That's sad <laughs> true. Sean? John's gonna have his own private pipe there the year before the Olympics. I hear. He's oh, gonna really? Move over there. Which, by the way, and you're talking about Sean White. Uh, which, yeah, Sean White. And I, I, this begs the question. I have to ask that, and you don't have to answer directly. But in a hypothetical situation, let's say you walk up to two houses, both of them are having a huge party. Okay, one of them, one of the houses is owned by Sean White, and he's throwing a party. The other house is owned by the Friends crew, like Mason Aguirre, Scotty Lago, those guys, Ooh. and they're throwing a party. Which house do you go into? Um, that's kind of easy. For you, I, the I Friends don't... crew. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. Yeah. Dude, they're gonna <laughs> Those love. Those guys are insane. They're that's so right. fun. Dude, yeah. they're gonna love you for that answer. Yes. No, we love the Friends crew here at the Extreme Scene. Yeah, we do. Yeah, they're hilarious. And you you hang out with those guys, you're just holding your belly because you're laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got a quick question, too. Uh, are you single, or, or, or are you going to break a lot of dudes' hearts with your answer right here? Uh, break some hearts. Oh, do mine included. Uh, you're not dating the Friends crew, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. They're, they're the ones you just want to hang out with. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> not marriage material. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, I love it, Hannah. And, uh, and let's let's pump up all your your uh, for like, list all the websites you want to mention. There's SweetCheeksPanties.com, which is again yes. for the underwear line. SweetCheeksPanties.com, and we want more friends on Facebook. So if, you, if people type in Sweet Cheeks on Facebook, find us. Beautiful. And is it Facebook.com/slash um, Sweet Cheeks? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Close, like enough. I, oh. Close enough. Yeah, just look it up. Yes. You'll find it. One that was two. <laughs> we're trying to promote today. Pant- I love panties it. with a purpose. Trying to get out there. Yeah. And uh, get some. And Hannah mentioned some sponsors too. Who's uh, who's paying all your bills? Uh, Burton Snowboards. I just did. We just were in uh, Long Island doing the 2013 roundtables. Nice. Which was insane. Beautiful. And um, Anon goggles, uh, Gravis shoes, and Sierra at Tahoe. It was my whole mountain here. And love riding them. Nice. How often do you actually go to Sierra, just out of curiosity? Like, do, do, are you just in mingling with the crowd, or do you have your own little backcountry runs? Well, they give me my own front row parking spot, so I just pull up, jump on the lift, go take some laps, and I'm here probably a couple weeks out of the winter, so gotcha. go up there all, whenever I'm home for some powder lines. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it, Hannah. Well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your time. It was great to have you on the show again. We're all huge fans of yours. Please don't. Uh, thanks for having me back. Hopefully it's not so long next time. <laughs> I hope so, too. I really do. Um, and please don't stop modeling. Please don't stop snowboarding. And it doesn't have to be in that order. But we're huge fans. And, uh... <laughs> That's right. Keep selling panties. Good yeah. luck in Russia, too. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Tear it up. Yeah, thank you. And, and for people out there, if you want to buy a, a pair of panties for your ladies, the website is sweetcheekspanties.com or just Google Sweet Cheeks uh, Panties and you'll find it right away. Hannah, thank you so much. We love you. Yeah, rock on, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, you're welcome. Later. And uh, coming up next, one of the girls who works with Hannah on her Sweet Cheeks panties lines, pro surfer Monica Burnwicky. The show continues. Hey, now. Oh, no. Dude, love Hannah Teeter, dude. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I love your bookings. <laughs> More of the extreme scene coming up on the Sports Byline Radio Network and the American Forces Broadcast Network.